Welcome to the Voices of Opener. And today I'm joined by Pablo. Thank you for being with us, Pablo. Thank you for having me. So can you tell us a little bit more about who you are and what you do? Yeah, I am a computer engineer. I, uh, I've been working in healthcare informatics for 18 years and the same time with OpenHR. Brilliant. Fantastic. And what's the company that you actually run? Uh, I've been working on my own company, that's Cabo Labs, since 2012. I've been working alone. Um, and what I do is consultancy, uh, uh, integration of systems, data, helping companies and organizations implement different standards, including open air. Um, and I'll also do a lot of training, education. We have a full program in English and Spanish. Uh, a lot of open HR courses there and some you know, other standards too. Wonderful. So can you tell us how you discovered Opener? It's a crazy story. It it was 2006, um, eight, almost 18 years. I started June 1st, 2006, working on a project. It was a research project. It was um, an intensive care uh, electronic medical record, and it was a research project. They wanted to implement open air inside the tool that they already built. Uh, so from day one, we started to look into the specifications, uh, checking the, the Java reference implementation at the time. Um, that was the only open source available, you know, OpenHR implementation in Java, um, created by Ron Chen. You might know him. Um, yes. It was great. The specifications were complex for someone that was not working in healthcare. I was a student at that time and also working for the first time with any you know standard in in healthcare informatics so for the first time and we need to make something work with that standard so i got involved there with that project i got interested in open air i continued working with open air after that project um and here we are <laughs> you're part of the community now yeah Absolutely. So how do you see open air moving forward and what do you see happening in the future with Cabo Labs? Um, open air, it's been, you know, uh, I think it's the only standard that actually focus on the information infrastructure. Uh, when I started, we had two kinds of standards. Uh, one kind that was focused on terminology and the other kind that was focused on exchanging information but there was no standard focusing on how the information is defined, uh, how the information uh, evolves through time. I'm talking about the definitions of the information, uh, how that information is, is, is really managed and put together. Um, and open air was the only standard that worked on that area. And I thought that at that time, knowing nothing about you know, healthcare informatics, that the information infrastructure was very important and was a problem to be solved at that time, because without you know the right data in the right place, uh, data that you can actually trust, uh, you can't exchange you know or do something meaningful with that data. Today we have uh, artificial intelligence, and if we don't have you know an information infrastructure in place, you can do nothing with artificial intelligence. So there was an, a need here in, in South America. And there was a, a hole that no other you know specification could fit on. Uh, that was the information infrastructure. Uh, I think we are still there. We still need to work on the information infrastructure because of the problems we have in different countries. Um, and I, I see, still see that open air is a solution for that part. And for the rest, we can use you know terminologies, exchange uh, uh, protocols, all the standards. But without the information infrastructure, we can't do nothing. So I, I think that still important uh, standard. Uh, and actually, from 2015, I, I'm I'm part of the standard editorial committee, the group that actually maintains the standard. So I have seen the the standard progress towards implementation, towards more adoption in Europe, spe especially. And I see we still have some um, some challenges to to tackle, but we are getting there. We are, we are getting closer and closer to the implementation and to improving healthcare in general. I think this is my belief. 
and I'm working on this. I'm a computer engineer working on this because I believe this is helping. This is, uh, I don't know, meaningful, useful, etc. Yeah, we, we have a real problem to solve. And I think slowly we are solving it. I like that. Solving <laughs> problems with open air. Thank you so much, Pablo, for being one of the faces of opener. No problem. Thank you.